Understanding current is difficult. Simulation has allowed me to visualize current. Part of my service included a tour on an aircraft carrier, and I was continuously in awe of the ocean in motion. It was just overwhelming to me. I got out of the service in the 60s, and I saw that the products on the market that were creating a current suitable for swimming against seemed inappropriate for me. So I built a plywood tank in my carport and started playing around with ways to make current. I gave a, one of the pumps that I had by then patented to the VA hospital in Sepulveda, California. When we turned that pump on and created current in their pool, they lit up. Every one of them now was getting enjoyment that they hadn't experienced in years, and it really moved me. Unknowingly, I, I had sort of created my first lazy river without an island. Some years later, we were approached by uh, one of the large international engineering firms, and they said, well, how would you make this river go three feet per second. So I took a bunch of sticky arrows and ended up with 43 of them plastered over this drawing. And they later ran my prediction through ANSYS. It turned out that my 43 arrows and ANSYS pretty much agreed. And uh, <laughs> we got the project. ANSYS has unlocked the ability to explore various options in river performance. I mean, in a day, we could accomplish what would have been a month's worth of back and forth meetings and delays. Now we're able to just move that project forward at, at a speed we were never able to do before. Simulation is a communication tool. We use it to help our customers better understand the complexities of the current Phenomenon like hydraulic jumps, vortices, recirculation areas, eddying were very difficult to explain to our customers. Now we have the ability to visualize these conditions through simulation. ANSYS Discovery allows us to answer questions through visualization, enabling our contractors to better communicate with their customers.